Diagnostic Approach to Global Developmental Delay A four-year-old boy presents to your clinic with his father. Father reports that the child stumbles a lot, isn't yet drawing figures, and doesn't string more than three words together. What will be your next steps in terms of assessing and creating a treatment plan for this patient? Let's review some key questions to ask and exam findings to look for. Developmental delay represents one of the most common reasons children are referred to a pediatric neurologist. Development involves progression of language, gross motor, fine motor, cognitive, and social and adaptive function over time. Global developmental delay is a term used in children up to age 5 to denote delay in two or more of these domains. When assessing a child for developmental delay, there are a few historical questions to ask. First, Identify when the child's parents or guardians first became concerned. At what ages did the child achieve various developmental milestones? Ask about birth history and possible exposures and or complications during pregnancy. Assess for any features suggestive of a diagnosis of autism spectrum disorder or a genetic disorder. A thorough family history can also help you cue in on possible genetic disorders. Another important consideration when assessing a child with a possible developmental delay is to ask whether the child has been tested for lead and screened for vision and hearing impairment. All states conduct newborn screening for certain metabolic diseases, though screening varies across states, and some children born outside of the U.S. may not have had newborn screening. Additionally, early hand preference and history of seizures may suggest central nervous system injury or malformation. On physical exam, look for dysmorphic features, organomegaly, and neurocutaneous stigmata. Obtaining a head circumference is important, as the presence of micro or macrocephaly can help dictate diagnostic testing. On neurological examination, be sure to include mental status testing. Consider what constitutes age-appropriate behavior for your patient. Is the patient able to attend to you, follow commands, participate in conversation, and write his or her name and draw a picture? Can the patient identify body parts or different colors in the room? Occasionally, you may want to have the child perform standardized tests that assess developmental level. These may require specialized training to administer. In addition to the other parts of the traditional neurological examination, you should assess gross motor and fine motor function specifically. Can the child stand on one foot, skip, or throw a ball? Can they hold a crayon with a mature grasp? Are they able to put their socks on by themselves or tie their shoes? Document any asymmetry in strength or abnormalities in muscle tone. After completion of the history taking and exam, the diagnostic approach to global developmental delay varies based on the information you have gathered. If a specific genetic diagnosis, such as Fragile X or Prader-Willi syndrome, is suspected, targeted testing is appropriate. A broad genetic test known as a chromosomal microarray is typically considered early on, as is biochemical testing to evaluate for inborn errors of metabolism. A 2021 practice guideline from the American College of Medical Genetics and Genomics suggests whole exome sequencing as an alternative first-line test. Brain MRI, or EEG, may also be considered depending on your findings. Returning to our case, no specific diagnosis was apparent after the history and physical exam. A chromosomal microarray revealed a microdeletion in 15Q133 region, which is associated with global developmental delay, an increased risk of epilepsy, and psychiatric disorders. For more information on developmental delay, including practice guidelines on ordering testing, please see the course resources.